Blaine, let's move to Fayetteville, Arkansas. For the most part, I think we're going to go through alphabetical order. We may jump around, but either way, you know, it's interesting, Blaine, in these spring games. There is a hype meter, I think, for every single fan base, right? And it doesn't matter how many times. I almost put out a clip on Friday and early Saturday, just kind of giving a spring game PSA, Blaine. Like, hey, take what you see with a grain of salt. If your team has a great spring game or not so great, or if this player does this or that, doesn't mean you're going 12 and 0, doesn't mean you're going 0 and 12, doesn't mean this kid's one of the highs and whatever. You look at Arkansas, this is a great case study for how a spring game can all of a sudden pick up a fan base and elevate a fan base and drive that hype meter through the roof. Because I feel like what I saw on social media and talking to Arkansas folks, I mean, they are freaking fired up after seeing the Bobby Petrino effect fell early. Taylor Green, I mean, I thought looked really, really good. He's got the size. You mentioned here in the notes, he can't just run. He, he, he doesn't just run. He can actually run, run. Like He can make plays. He's a playmaker with his legs. He threw the football well. Talk about what you saw from Arkansas yesterday. And I know, again, you've seen the hype as well. Do you think it's fair and it's warranted after that spring game? Oh yeah, it's warranted. I've never, I've never even stepped foot in the state of Arkansas. Okay, but it makes me excited for those hog fans over there because what I saw was, and we've seen it in in our comments here, intensity across the board. There were this was not your regular spring game where there was brother-in-law going on. I think everybody knows on that roster that there is a sense of urgency. Sam Pittman knows there's a sense of urgency. And what do you do when you have that sense? You create competition and you make everybody go after it. And Travis Williams was over there. I mean, he was he was bringing some exotic – Corner blitz early on in the game, and it, they caught Taylor Green early on. He didn't he didn't diagnose it well, and then comes back later on in the game. Same blitz uh, comes comes at him, and he gets it that second time. But there was just so much stuff in between between the physicality and the run game. We saw an Arkansas offensive line and running back combination pushing a pile down a field and absolutely road grading through some traffic there on defense. Very encouraging to see, but Taylor Green and Bobby Petrino. Bobby Petrino has to look at this six-six young fella and all of these just behemoth wide receivers they have out there, and think, "Wow, this is this is going to be a great opportunity." And we're going to get into some specifics on the offensive line, but yeah, I think you, you, Arkansas fans should be very excited from what they saw on Saturday. And Blaine, to your point, I mean, the way Taylor Green performed, you look at his build and obviously his skill set, I think that's something to get fired up about. But to your point, man, if I'm a Hogs fan, I'm most fired up about the physicality. I mean, that's when when Arkansas was rolling under Sam Pittman. We all know his track record. He's an offensive line guy, right? And so to see the return of that physicality and the bread and butter and really what has made them so good during his tenure – uh, is pushing people around, and I thought you saw that again. You saw the physicality return. Uh, also, speaking of physicality, Tyrone Broden stood out in the red zone, six foot seven. He's going to be a really fun target as well. But like you mentioned, man, for uh, for for Mondo Carmona at left tackle, good as advertised. Again, it was, but it was really encouraging to see the guys in the church. And it's tough, right? It's it's tough in a spring yeah. game. To, to really gauge what is the offensive line, what is the defensive line, what are they doing. If your offensive line is dominating, it's, oh, my God, we're not going to be able to stop anybody. If it's the reverse, we're not going to be able to protect. But after the offensive line issues from a season ago, I, I think Hog fans have got to look at that as encouragement for maybe what's to come this fall. Yeah, I just think they look different. I mean, they look different on the offensive line because Carmona – there was one time where they were they were running to they were running a, a play to his side where a guy got a little bit of he started to to shoot inside he gave him it gave him his his inside arm and then continued to climb up things you just didn't see out of the left tackle position last year from Arkansas Keyshawn Blackstock looked good on the other side but Addison Nichols and Josh Braun Josh Addison Nichols. 306, 310, we're, you know, somewhere in between there at the center position. And Josh Braun is, you know, depending on what he ate for breakfast that morning, around 350. I mean, at the at the guard position, he's a big dude. He might need to trim down just a little bit, but they got some movement. And when you have a Jaquindon Jackson, you don't have to give a too much movement because this young fella, 6'2, 235, and runs hard. But I'm gonna give the the acronym once again, yes, just grown ass strength. To 
Rashad DeBinion because Rashad DeBinion runs like he's shot out of a cannon and he runs with violence. And I'm telling you, with all of those pieces starting to come together, plus I decided after watching this game, this spring game, that Sam Pittman should sue Danny Nose for malpractice because <laughs> there's so many weapons out there, whether it's Haas, whether it's Broden, whether it's Armstrong, whether it's Tesla, whether it's, you know, anybody out there. I mean, they've got they've got tons of weapons, but Broden specifically, Armstrong, these are guys that are big, they can run. I, I think that combination with a, a improved running game and the wheels of of yeah, Sategna, thanks <laughs> in the in the in the comments there. Sategna is the other track star they got at the slot. But when it comes down to it, I think you add all that together, the threat vertical in the passing game, inside run game, and then you add Taylor Green's legs on top of it. Bob Petrino's got some got some guys that that he can he can go to war with out there. Arkansas has weapons, man, and and Bobby Petrino knows how to use them. And I think they're going to be improved enough on the offensive line to be able to utilize them. Taylor Green, like I said, can run, run. I mean, this guy is electric. What he what he did in the Mountain West Championship game last year, that run, you go find it on YouTube, one of the more dazzling runs that you'll see from a quarterback. And then him, the accuracy that he showed throwing the ball to six, seven receiver Tyrone Broden, Andrew Armstrong, who looks like a condor out there as well. I mean, just huge guys that he's throwing the ball to. Luke Haas, it may be the Mackey Award winner. I mean, he's that good at tight end. Just they've got guys all over the place, and if they can run the football, they'll be even better. And Blaine, not to echo you virtually word for word, but my biggest takeaway did come from Fayetteville, and what I saw from Arkansas, the Bobby Petrino effect, Taylon Green, his skill set, I'm not saying Arkansas is going to win eight or nine games, right? I'm not saying they're going to be worlds better than we expected, but I, I do look at Arkansas' schedule. We go through and we give whether it's way too early predictions or we give predictions over this summer. I I stop for a moment when we're talking Arkansas. I, I do. Where it may have been somewhat of it felt like a sure thing before, Arkansas is going to be better. I, I don't know how much better, but they're going to be better. They're going to be dynamic. They're going to be fun to watch. I can't wait to see how this ever, how this Bobby Petrino, I don't want to say experiment, but how the Bobby Petrino saga this time around works out in Fayetteville. I think Arkansas could be a really fun surprise type of team this year. We shall see, but yesterday was a good sign.